Hi everyone. In the last few videos, I've been making preparations for the actual framing of the barrel vault, which I'll cover in this video. We'll finally see it all come together, which is pretty exciting. In last week's video, I talked about how I came up with the templates and then the framing groups for the barrel vault. And then the week before that, I talked about how I built a jig that will allow me to frame the barrel vault by myself and also fairly accurately. Now that the jig is built and the ribs are cut, let's put it all together. The first order of business is to get what I'm calling my rim joist or ledger located and installed. This 2x6 needs to run the whole length of the room on both sides to connect the ribs at the base of the arch. So I can use the jig to determine how far I need to fur out the walls to make sure the 2x6 ledgers are parallel to each other and to the LVL ridge beam. So I'll start by cutting and installing some blocks that will push the 2x6 ledger exactly up against the jig. I can then run a string from the corners and measure along the wall to determine how much framing to add to the wall to match the string line. I am using some 2x4s for the furring and stopping them before the furring needs to be less than their thickness of an inch and a half. Once those are in place, I add the 2x6 to follow the string line. I can pack some shims behind the ledger to support it and then nail it. I'm using a combination of 4 inch screws, 3 and a quarter inch framing nails, and large 6 inch screws to really drive it home. I like starting with screws because it gives me the adjustability I need, and usually once I'm happy with the alignment, I nail the boards in place. And now that I'm happy with this side, I can move on to the next. This side did not require as much furring, so it was a quicker process. order of business was to add some collar ties above the LVL ridge beam to tie it to the existing roof rafters. These are simple 2x4s that I attach to the beam with hurricane ties making a strong connection between the two. The other thing this allows me to do is to straighten the LVL beam based on a string line that I ran connecting the centers on both ends. Now the LVL and the ledgers are consistently parallel along the whole length. So all of this work so far has been to create references that I can then build off of. It's tempting to try to just build off of the existing structure and assume that what looks straight is straight or plumb or true or level, but in this case, it didn't seem like the right thing to do. I decided to establish my own set of references mostly due to aesthetic reasons, i.e. recentering the window and the door in the room, but also to let me build the structure much more easily once everything was in place. So that being said, let's look at how the ribs get installed. I began on the gable end, using the jig to place the ribs accurately and easily. I can then move the jig to the next set of rafters, screw in the ribs, and repeat the process. This actually went really fast. The jig gives me a place to rest the ribs while I install them, and keeps them in the exact right place in relation
And seeing this come together really, really helps to visualize the barrel vault at this point. And so the last thing I wanted to do is to paint the purlins with malt preventing paint. Um, some of these purlins were showing signs of mildew from sitting out all winter. And I wanted to make sure that that wouldn't transfer to the back of the drywall. So I first sprayed them with a mold killing vinegar solution, let them dry, and then I painted them with a mold killing and preventing paint. And that, that combination should be enough to prevent further mold down the road. So the bare vault is really starting to take shape now that those purlins are in. So next week, we'll talk about how I was able to get the drywall installed in this room from bending it to installing it. This was fairly challenging work and interesting to see. So follow along and go back and check out some of the previous videos if you're interested. And thanks for watching. Now get back to work.